I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your sweat and sculpt workout. So in this workout, we will use both heart pumping cardio to make you sweat and strengthening and toning exercises to really sculpt all of your muscles using weights. So that could be a kettlebell, a set of dumbbells, or whatever you have at home to use as a weight. As always, I will give you lots of different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. All you need for this workout is weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. So go ahead and just start marching. Make sure your equipment is out of the way where you're not gonna trip on it. Roll through those shoulders to the back, to the front. Couple big deep breaths in and out. One more. We're gonna go about 35 minutes today. Let's take it out nice and wide. Lean in those side lunges, rotate through those wrists. Sweat and sculpt, so what does that mean? I'd like to think all of my workouts are sweat and sculpt. Walk those feet in, flat back down, and round it up. Flat and up, one more. Hold it here, roll those shoulders, breathe. So, sweat and sculpt, we are going to start with a sweat move, so a little more heart pumping cardio. Walk those feet in, round it up, and tap it out. Heart pumping cardio, but using your weight in some way. All of those moves you can also do totally body weight if you want to, but a little more cardio based with some strength. And then we will alternate with a sculpt move. Reach it over. That's going to, most of the time, be a compound move. So upper and lower together, upper and core, lower and core, multi-joint, lots of different things working together. You have the option to just do one or to alternate, and we'll have a few stages of that to really sculpt and tone, right? And then we'll throw in some core, and we'll take it down to the mat, and then we'll cool it down, guys. It's gonna move quickly, work to your level. I will give you lots of options as normal, so listen to your body. Modify if you need to for whatever reason that is. Stretch it out right here and breathe. You know what I always say, I want you to be where you are today. That's all that matters. If you showed up today, you are successful. Just keep moving, right? Okay, so catch your breath. Go ahead and grab one weight. So again, that can be kettlebell, that can be dumbbell. I'll grab my dumbbell to start. Our first sweat move is gonna be your super basic knee raise. So you're here, here. We're gonna to try to get a pretty good pace with it, but if you need to keep it slow, that's fine too. You can take it here for a little more arms or elbows for a little bit more core. If you got the kettlebell, pretty much looks the same. Breathe. So go ahead and let's start that sweat move. Here we go. So. Bringing it here again, if you wanna get a little lift, go ahead and join me here. No timed intervals today, just whenever I feel like it, right? <laughs> just kidding, I'm watching the clock right in front of me, but I don't want you to worry about it. If that feels like too much, drop that weight and just do your sweat move here, right? We don't need to add any jumping, you certainly can if you feel comfortable doing it with the weight, but we're gonna get that heart pumping either way, right? More core, we get a little more of a twist. Elbow to knee, right? Who's feeling it? Hopefully you are. Keep breathing. We're gonna get about 15 seconds wherever you are. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit of arms, a little bit of core, and lots of heart rate. Three, two, one, relax. Hang on to one or two dumbbells or your kettlebell. We are going to squat and curl. Super basic, compound move, you know it. We're gonna curl at the bottom here and bring it up. You can use two dumbbells, you can use one dumbbell, you can use one kettlebell. I'll switch to my kettlebell holding at the center. Start regular squat, curl at the bottom, get as low as you can, here we go. Drop it down, curl, and up. Drop it down, curl, and up. I'm really trying to get that butt low, hips low, core is engaged. 
chest is lifted. What I'm not doing is letting that back drop. Again, you can have one or two dumbbells too here. And breathe, drive up through those heels or two. One more just like this. And watch me here. We're gonna add some little pulses. Here we go. So drop it down. We're gonna pulse three, two, one, curl. Bring it up. Three, two, one, do the curl. Drive up through the heels. Here we go, keep it going. Three, two, drop the hips, curl, and up, yes. Three, two, one, and up, yes. Three, two, ooh, I'm ahead of myself. Just your legs. Three, two, one, curl. Two more, three, two, one, curl. Last one like this, three, two, one, curl. Breathe for a second, let's switch it. So watch me here, pulse, three, two, one, drop it low, three, two, one, and low. Right about halfway up that curl, and down all the way up, three, two, one, and curl. Keep it going. Three, two, small, all the way down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I promise I won't count the whole time. Last one. And relax. Drop your weight or your kettlebell, whatever you got. Back to that sweat move, but no weight. Just your knees, quick. We got 30 seconds. You can even add a little up if you need to. Stretch out those arms and legs, right? So that's how it's gonna work. Sweat move, cardio base with the weight. We're gonna do a compound move, regular, then add some pulsing, and then sweat move without the weight. Five seconds to go, and then of course we sprinkle in some core, relax, quick sip of water, Woo! Good first circuit team, how are we feeling? I know I'm feeling it, Woo! right? Okay, little bit of core before we move on. Let's take it here in the center. Instead of a windmill, guys, we're just gonna do a side bend. So all lateral bend, here we go, weight on one side. Down, we'll keep it simple. Down and up. Just bend and up. It's just a bend in the torso. We're not bending in the knees, we're keeping it here. Breathe, yes. If you want, down, side knee, and breathe. So we'll add a little core at the end of each circuit to you. Four, three, two, Last one, keep it simple, take it here. Reach and back. This feels like too much with the weight. Drop that weight, just do the motion. Again, bending in the torso, it's just a lateral bend. Right, flexion, add that knee if you want. Eight and up. seven, little bit of balance, so zip it up. Four more, four, Three, two, one, relax. All right, guys, so dumbbell or kettlebell, I'm gonna grab my dumbbell. Watch your next sweat move, shake it out. Here it is, watch me first, you can just tap it out, keep that heart rate up. So, two options. You can grab that weight at the bottom, drive it all the way up, drop it down, two jacks, high impact, or you can keep your jacks low impact. Or if you feel comfortable with it, you can do a snatch, right? If you've never done a snatch before, just keep the raise because it's a little bit tricky to teach. But if you're comfortable, you're here, drive it up. Ooh, my ceiling, there you go. <laughs> here we go, let me step back. Low ceiling here, guys, here. It's a power move, then you drop it down. Two jacks, take it here and two jacks. Same thing with that kettlebell, the snatch is a little trickier, so 
I would advise keeping it just that raise. All right, keep it in front. Make sure you're not gonna step in and on those jacks. Here's our sweat move. Here we go, two options. All the way down, bring it up. You can go low impact or high, two jacks. All the way down, up, power, two jacks. All the way down, up, power, two jacks. If you feel good with it, snatch, two jacks. It's power, all the way up, two jacks. Keep going, reach, two jacks. Get low, pull it through, two jacks. You keep going, here's what that would look like with that kettlebell. Same thing, just pull it all the way through, two jacks, or your snatch is a little trickier, up, down, two jacks. Again, if you've never done it before, keep it whoo, with that press. Oh, got my dumbbell right here. Two more guys, keep it going, all the way through, two jacks, last one, two jacks and relax. Good guys, catch your breath after that. All right, one dumbbell or kettlebell. We're gonna take it to that plie squat, right? So toes out, keep it here. Dumbbell or kettlebell in the center, drop it low, press it up, triceps at the top behind your head. So let's start with your dumbbell or your kettlebell between two hands, looks like this. Up, core steady behind. Started here, breathe, here we go. Drop it down, big press, elbows behind. Drop it down, big press, elbows behind. Same thing with that dumbbell. Keep those elbows in, drop it low, and up, and breathe. Down, up, down, up, here we go, elbows behind, if that feels too light, you can switch the kettlebell or dumbbell between one hand, but as you know, we got some pulses coming, and breathe, down, last one right here, all right, guys, I want you to keep it here behind your head. Three, two, one, bring it in front, drop it low. Up, three, two, one. Three, two, one. On those pulses, keep those elbows in. Three, two, one. Four more here, power. Three, two, core's engaged. Don't forget, zip it up. Three, two, one, elbows in, good, yes, last one, drop it low, watch me, three, two, one, power press tries, three, two, one, power press tries, three, two, press it up, one tricep all the way down, low, and by four more. Pulse low. All the way up. Yes. Three. Core's engaged. Two. Last one. Here we go. Three, two. Good. And relax. Yes. Shake it out. No weight. No pull or snatch, just your jacks. Here we go, join me here. So low impact, you're here. High, you're here. Whatever you got, guys. Water's coming. Then we slow it down with some core. So 20 seconds to go. Low impact, I know those legs are tired. Arms are a little tired too, I bet. I know they are for me. Breathe, 10 seconds. Watch those weights behind you. Four, three, two, breathe. You 
Did it, how are we doing team? Woo! My heart's pumping, I don't know about you. Catch your breath. All right guys, Woo! Let's go ahead and come down on our knees, okay? With your kettlebell, with your dumbbell, in the center, and breathe. All right, so we got it here. We're gonna put our elbows down here. If you need to modify, especially pregnancy, second or third trimester, early postpartum, or DR, whoo, we are gonna stay on your hands, and I want you to do that bird dog. I know, but with that balance, you're gonna really feel it. Breathe, everybody else, we're here. One foot down, one knee down. We're gonna lift and down, lift and down. So lift from that core and breathe. We're gonna keep that leg steady. If you wanna get a little extension for glutes and breathe, there we go. Four more this side, four, lots of core. Three, you're lifting in your core, not pushing with those hands. Last two, stretch it back. Same thing, other side, modification. I just want you to alternate that bird dog. Everybody else, lift it here. Here we go, up and down. And breathe. Think about lifting with the core. So everything's coming up here. And breathe, flex, lift. Four more, I know you feel that hip flexor, four. Three, two, one, stretch it back. All right, back up onto your feet. Whew. Getting there, team. Catch your breath, bring it up. And we're gonna put our dumbbell or kettlebell on one side. So our sweat, our weighted cardio. We're gonna do a little skater with Three, two, one, then we're gonna add a row. So watch me here. Three, two, one, row. Three, two, one, row. So if you have two dumbbells, take them here. If you don't, I'm gonna do a dumbbell and a kettlebell, and at the halfway point, I'm gonna switch them. So when I tell you to switch them, if you only have one, switch it over. Don't worry too much about that, guys. The goal is to move and get the skater for cardio. So join me, ready, here we go. Three, two, one, pull it up and row. Low impact, you're just tap, tap, still get low, row it here. Three, two, one, row. Three, two, one, four more this way, then we'll switch them. Row, three, two, one, whoo, <laughs> three, two, one. Last one here. Good, switch your dumbbell and kettlebell if you got them, or drag that weight over to the other side. Here we go, starting this way. Three, two, one, Row, get wide. If you need to move them in closer, bring it up. Tap three, low impact is here. And up. Notice I'm not going super fast, that's okay. Four more. And up. Three, two, one, two more. Last one. Yes. Good. Relax. Shake them out. How's that heart rate? Are we sweating? I hope so. All right, team. So, whatever you got, one dumbbell, one kettlebell, doesn't matter. Angle it here into that lunge. So, we're here. We're going to hinge in that low lunge row at the top. Watch me here. Dumbbell or kettlebell, drop it down, bring it up. Sometimes I like to have that hand out so we really get into it. Ready, here we go. Down and up. Dumbbell or kettlebell, doesn't matter. 
Just get low, bring the elbow in. Four more, four, three, yes, two, good. Hold it to the top, I'm gonna switch mine out here for variety, but here we go. We're gonna pulse, three, two, one, low. Touch if you can, three, two, one, low. Three, two, one, and drop. How's that leg feeling? I know. Four more. Three, two, keep it low. Three, two, pulse, elbow up. Press out of that heel. Yes. One more. Relax it for a second. Shake it out. You know what's coming. Pulse in that leg for three. Drive it up, finish strong. Pulse, 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 and row. Low, and pulse. Chest low, I know that leg is feeling it, but you can do it. Four more, four, and up. Three, yes, two, ah! last one. Breathe, <laughs> shake it out. Whew. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna get our core in between that because we felt that so much, right? Come to a seated position. Remember what leg that was. For me, it was my right in the front. Seated position, dumbbell or kettlebell. Sitting up nice and tall, especially if you're on that prenatal, postnatal DR, or if you have problems with your back, take it here. Side, reach side reach just the lift without any of that deep that front core engagement just think deep core sitting up tall you can even cross those legs so modified not twisting just reaching everybody else take it here here you go down reach and up yes how are we feeling you can always Take it, no weight, if that feels better. Or feet up, four, three, two, one. Relax, bring it up. Can we get the other side with that leg? How is it feeling? Oh, I know, I'm feeling it too. All right guys, we are so close. Here we go, other leg, angle it here. Find your balance. Deep lunge, starting with just a regular lunge and row. Then we pulse it with the row, drop it in the lunge, pulse it in the lunge, pull up in the row. We got this, it's gonna go by fast. Ready, here we go. Down and up, down and up. Can you get low, drop that knee, and bring that elbow up. Four, three, two, one more, pulse it arm. Three, two, one, and low. Three, two, really pull that elbow back, squeeze in the shoulder blade. Don't forget about that core. Three, two, one, drop it down, keep it going. Three, two, one, three, two, yes, and low. Drive into that front heel, pull that shoulder blade in. Last one, relax for just a second. Get ready, pulse in the lunge, pull up strong in the row, here we go. Three, two, in the heel, strong elbow. Notice what I'm not doing is bringing my chest up. I'm keeping it low, zipped up in the core, low in the legs, strong back. Three, two, one, up. Two more. Last one. Yes. Good. Weights out of the way. Give yourself some space. Let's finish that circuit with our skater. You can keep it high. Don't worry. We're not going to row with the weights. We did enough rows for our back, right? Just keep it here. Here. Yes. Keep it going. 
Can you get a little lower? You got 15 seconds. Low impact, you're here. I know we're tired. We are almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and breathe water. Woo! Who is feeling it? I know I am. Woo! Hmm. All right, you guys. All right, our last sweat. Well, they're both gonna be kind of sweats. We're gonna do a swing. Dumbbell or kettlebell, does not matter. If you've got that dumbbell, I'm gonna switch to my heavier. If you've never done a swing before, make sure you check out my how to do a kettlebell swing. Even if you only have dumbbells, it's gonna talk you through it. Remember, it's a hinge, drive it back. If you got that kettlebell or one dumbbell, it's gonna look like this. You know it. Or one dumbbell here. Or two dumbbells, you got that skier swing. I know that feels like a lot of options, so just pick what you're most comfortable with. Just remember, you're driving it back. All right, team. We're not gonna go as long as those other sweats. Whew. But we might get a couple rounds, right? Because I love swings. Here we go, zip up in that core. Hinge it back, power. Three, two, up. Dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever you got. Zip up in that core. Notice I'm locking out at the top. What I'm not doing is arching my back at the top. I'm stopping here. Up, breathe. This last circuit we're gonna break up in a few rounds. You'll know why. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Let it swing, relax, pedal those feet, and take it down to your knees. All right, here's our sculpt. We're gonna get a couple rounds of this too. Everything out of the way. All right, it's a push up and a jack on our feet. Modification, stay on your knees here, zip up in that core. You're gonna take it down, tap it back, tap it back, or down, tap back, tap in. Stay on those knees and tap back one at a time if you're in that pre-post DR. Everybody else, knees or toes, I'm gonna stay on my knees. You guys know I have a shoulder thing. No shame, knees or toes. You're gonna take it down, jack, down, Jack, so pick where you need to be. Here, here, or here. Here we go, not very many. Push up, strong push up, jack. Push up, jack. Think about that core. And back. Remember, you can be here, or here. Tap, tap. Let's go two more. Jack. Last one, use your core and relax. All right, take it back up to those swings. Last round, we're getting through it quick, but there's a reason we're not gonna go right into those push-up pulses, right? All right, back to your swing. Dumbbell, kettlebell, doesn't matter, whatever you got. I'm gonna go two dumbbells this time. Hinge those hips back, zip up in that core. Remember, it's like a pendulum swinging, locking up at the top. Prep it, here we go, three, two, Power, drive it up. Weights are just going level with the chest or below. We're not going over the head. We're keeping it here so we can keep it back loaded. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Woo. All right, team. Back down, how are we doing? As you probably noticed, this is our core as well. If we have time, we'll finish with a little more core. All right, let's get it over with. Push up pulse for three, jack for one. So wherever you are, knees, knees, or toes, here we go, modification here. Three, two, one, core, tap and tap. Or three, two, 
one, tap and tap or join me here. Three, two, power with your core, jack. Three, two, power core and jack. What I mean with that guys, keep it going, is that that lift on that three is all coming from your abs. So imagine there's a string pulling your belly button up through your back so you're not having to rely just on those arms. You got your core too. Last one, three, two, one, and jack. Stretch it back, ha ha ha. How about it guys, one last time with our swing. I know this last circuit, not fair. Everything else, whew. Let's take it here. Last time with your swing, roll those shoulders back, hinge at those hips, power it, prep it, good form, even though we're tired, here we go. Breathe out. The reason I make that breath audible is so you know that's where all those contractions are. Core, back, butt, legs. Arms are getting the work, arms are not doing the work. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it swing. Relax it down. Woo! Yes. Ha ah, ha Awesome job, team. Right? Bring it all the way down. All right, you guessed it. Three jacks, one push up. Here's what that looks like. Modification, three, two, one, and take it down or just step it back. Everybody else, we're here, step or jump. Three, two, one, strong push up. Join me, three, two, one, or knees. Three, two, one, lift up with that core. Three, two, one, knees are soft, keep it going. Lift with that core, try to get low, whether you're on your knees or on your toes, and pull with those abs. <sighs> Take it down, here we go, two more. Three, two, one, <sighs> last one. Three, two, one, yes! Stretch, ha, ah, good work, team. How are we feeling? You did it. All right, let's stay right here. Oh, almost done, right? On your back, roll to your side. All right, team, one dumbbell, one kettlebell, whatever you got. If you are pregnant and you wanna prop yourself up on some pillows underneath your shoulders, you can. Everybody else, here's your modification. Take it over, little pullover, lift in that bridge, hamstrings, over, and lift. If you can, if you're not pregnant or early postpartum, over, lift, pull over, join me here. Here we go. Take it down. If that feels like too much for your shoulders, just drop the weight. Take it here and lift really deep. Here and lift. Tap those toes down, down and up. Again, modification, pre, post, DR, or anybody who needs it, pull over and bridge or without the weight you can here and lift tap here we go four up yes three nice and deep two one more yes relax turn over on your side knees to modify or all the way up. Watch me here. I'm gonna rotate in. I'm gonna bring it up your whole body. If you are pre and post, I want you just to drop the hip and not do the twist. Ready, here we go. So pre and post, down and up or modify for your back, wherever, however you need to, down and up or twist and up. Here we go, turn into it the whole way, up, Twist and up, deep core, lift and up. Good, last four, breathe, three, two, last one. 
Yes, other side. I know we're running out of time here, guys, but we can do it. Here we go. Down and up, modified on that knee. Down and up, or twist and up. Turn your whole body into it if you can. Twist and up. Guess what, guys? This is your bonus move. I didn't say it, but since we're running out of time, four, three, yes, two, last one, and relax. I think I just made it in time, right, guys? Breathe, roll those shoulders back. How do we feel, guys? Big stretch over. Good work. I hope you were able to sweat, like me, and I hope you really felt that sculpting, that toning, burning out those muscles, really challenging them. Remember, we gotta get a little bit uncomfortable to whoo, open it up, to really see those changes, right? But again, be where you are today. You showed up, that's all that matters. Take that arm across, roll through, letting that heart rate come down. Good. And open it up, other side. Drop that shoulder, roll through. Be sure that you check out all of my other playlists. I have dumbbell, I have kettlebell, suspension training, bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal, and then also broken down by body part and time. Let's take one foot out and just fold it over. So check those out and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Guys, the more you subscribe, the more you share these videos, the more I can keep making completely free workouts for you. So please hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. Leave me a comment, let me know what you liked or even what you didn't like, that's okay too. Fold it over. So subscribe, turn on those notifications, and then you know whenever a new workout is released or whenever I'm doing a live workout. Lean into that here. Also guys, don't forget, hit the links in the description below if you're looking for a little more of a structure. Sit back, child's pose, stretch it back. Or a routine to go along with these videos, you can check out my eBooks and programs. Stretch. Those are curated schedules that go along with the videos. And you can also find information on my nutrition guide as well. So click those links below, roll through your back. Yes. And breathe. Good, good. Ha. Seated position. As always, get more of a stretch and a cool down on your own. One big deep breath in and out. You did it, ha. Thank you so much for showing up today. That was your sweat and sculpt with weights workout. Great job, everybody.